Florence is without doubt the city where the Italian genius has flourished with the greatest display of brilliance and purity. For three centuries, from the 13th to the 16th, the city was the cradle of an exceptional artistic and intellectual activity, later to be known as the Renaissance. Florence is set in the heart of a serenely beautiful countryside, bathed in the sun throughout the year. The surrounding hills grow olive groves and vineyards, and Cyprus is complete the natural harmony. The main street of the city is the River Arno, which has always been a vital economic and infrastructural resource for the people living here. The city was founded in the time of Julius Caesar, and since the Middle Ages it has been the largest city in Tuscany, with a population about 400,000 today. Florence is famous for its history, a center of medieval European trade and finance, and one of the wealthiest cities of the time. It has been called the Athens of the Middle Ages. A turbulent political history includes periods of rule by the powerful Medici family and numerous religious and republican revolutions. Although its wealth and power was rooted in the Middle Ages, Florence is not only considered the birthplace of the Renaissance, but actually can be called the laboratory of the great rebirth of European civilization. From the southern slopes there is a stunning panorama over the unprecedented cityscape. Over one and a half million tourists visit yearly the historic center with its churches, palaces and museums. From Piazzale Michelangelo, we moved to the best preserved part of the medieval city wall, which defended Florence. This is the Porta Romana. And now back to the southern hillside where Florence's most ancient church stands, San Miniato al Monte. This is one of the most remarkable examples of Florentine Romanesque architecture. The elegant facade is decorated with green and white marble stripes.
The frescoes date from different periods, but the pulpit and chancel screen form a beautiful unit inlaid with black and white marble. The chapel of the Cardinal James of Portugal is a fine Renaissance structure created by a number of excellent artists to commemorate the prelate who died in Florence while on his journey. In the center of the nave there is Michelozzo's Chapel of the Crucifix. And now it is time to leave the hill and move into the heart of the medieval city, crowned by the cathedral and the baptistry. <laughs> 